So here's some music videos that I've shot recently where I've used masking to really elevate the sauce. I was able to throw on this edit, impress myself, impress the client, and just have fun with what I'm doing. And I'm gonna teach you guys how to do this, and you'll be surprised at how easy it actually is. So stay tuned, stick around, drop a like, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already, and let's get it. I'm gonna teach you guys how to do this. Let's make it happen. So currently in Final Cut Pro, if you wanna do any masking, you gotta do it all manually. And everybody knows this is mad time consuming, and it takes forever. But that's not the worst part. The worst part is, is that you can spend 15, 20, 30 minutes on a mask and then you play it back and it looks like shit. So I'm going to teach you how to avoid all of that. This is something that I really wish I knew how to do earlier. I really wish somebody taught me this earlier because it really does take your work to a higher level much faster. It has a level of professionalism and it just looks like you know what you're doing. So I'm going to teach you guys how to mask like a boss or I should say like a pro in Final Cut Pro. Let's get it. All right, these are the clips that I'm using for this tutorial. This is the Yeet Poppin' music video directed by Cole Bennett. It's a super dope music video. I'm using these clips right here because it's a well-known artist that everybody's familiar with. All right, now that I got the footage that I'm about to edit picked out, the first thing I'm gonna do is export these clips separately. Uh, I'm gonna name the first one Mask 1, and I'm gonna name the second one Mask 2, and I'm gonna just go ahead and speed this process up right here for you guys to keep it moving. Now that those clips are exported, the first thing that we're going to do is head over to RunwayML.com. This is a website that you're going to be using for all your masking and uh, King Edits and Final Cut Pro. It's a very powerful tool. It's something other editing softwares have already had available to them, but now it's available to you. This website is completely free, and they're not paying me to say that. So once you get logged in, you're going to hit the green screen button up at the top corner. Uh, and then you're going to get the clip uploaded. I'm going to do these clips one at a time just to make it simple. Uh, but once you get the clip uploaded and, you know, you're, like I said, we're working with the green screen feature on, the, on this website. Uh, you're going to go down to the clip and you're going to want to start clicking on the, all of the areas that you want to remain inside of the mask. You're going to want to go ahead and take your time and skim through the timeline of the clip and make sure that the AI of the website isn't missing anything or picking up anything that you don't want. Very important that you manually go through here and make sure it's really clean and uh, you know, just make sure it's really clean or else it's just not going to look as good as it possibly can. As it possibly can. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to speed this up and I'm going to do this for both of these clips and then I'm going to export them and I'm going to bring them back into Final Cut Pro. Uh, it's very simple. It does most of the work for you. All you got to do is make sure you go through and uh, that the AI is, is, is only picking up what you want it to pick up. That's all you got to do. And if the, if the clips are short, it should actually do it really fast. It should be really easy for you. If the colors in the video are, you know, really separate from, from uh, you know, what you're trying to mask out or key out, it should do it really easily. Sometimes, like this clip I'm working with now, there's a lot of greens, there's a lot of dark shadows and, and whatnot. So... It's having a little bit rougher time, but it's all good. All I got to do is go through, take my time, and make sure I clean it up and do the work that the AI isn't able to. And it's going to look real good. So now we are back in Final Cut Pro. We just finished exporting those two clips that we were just working on. And now we can proceed with this editing process. And I'm just going to let you guys know that we're almost done. We're about 90% done with this process. Quickly right here, I'm just going to do something that's not necessary for this tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and quickly track these cool wings that I found onto the subject. Um, I'm not going to teach you guys how to do this on this video. I'm going to make another video uh, next, actually, and I'm going to teach you guys how to do this, so look out for that. Okay, so now that these wings are tracked to the subject, all we have to do is drag the clip that we just exported from the website that we just used um, over top the original clip, and here you'll see, boom, that easy. That looks great. That looks really great. That looks really professional. Um, I think I went ahead and threw on a little extra gaussian blur and tweaked the footage just a little bit, but that's not really important for this tutorial. Uh, the point is that you see how much doper and how much cooler and how much more create creativity you could just open up by being able to have a dope masking tool like this. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on the next clip. Uh, just to show you guys that that whole tracking thing with the wings just really wasn't needed for this tutorial. Uh, so by giving you guys an example of an edit where I didn't track anything. So let's do it. 
All right, so here's the second clip that we're going to go ahead and work with. Again, I'm just going to drop it over top the original clip on the timeline, and then I'm going to add a keyer effect to it. Real easy stuff. So once that's done, uh, like I said, I got these cool green electrical elements that I, that I was able to find. Uh, all you have to do is drag that over the clip. Um, I, I'm going to get rid of this one. I don't like the way this one looks, so I'm going to bring in this actual other one. I think this one's a little bit better. Uh, and I'm going to delete this other one. But yeah, so once I do that, all I have to do is drag it between the two clips, just like this, really easy. I didn't have to do any tracking. I didn't have to do anything. I'll, I, you might have to change the uh, layover or uh, the blend mode, but I didn't have to do that for these clips. They were already um they were already uh just like this so anyway move around the scale scaling it a little bit seeing where it, where it looks best at on the video and right here i'm just showing you guys what it looks like when it's laid over the top and then now you easily see how much doper it looks when you lay it over the back that looks dope there's no tracking involved in that it's just simply keyed out masked using the tool from the website that we just used before and easily, you can, anybody can use this tool to really elevate uh, their edits. So, yeah, check it out. And I hope you guys learn something from this. But until next time, it's your boy Sammy Black. This is Vibe Good. Uh, I'm going to keep making these tutorials uh, as long as you guys keep on watching them. I'm going to keep experimenting with different types of content I can create for y'all. Um, so just, you know, keep it fun. Keep it funky. I hope y'all are having fun with what y'all doing because I certainly am. I'm out. Follow me. Subscribe. All that cool stuff. Peace. To turn that bitch and turn it on And we pull up to the show and turn that city up and